I have a minute here so I thought I would go ahead and do a little haul on some newer makeup items and then also uh, throw in some vlog footage uh, after that because you guys have been requesting for me to do some more vlog stuff and I actually have some vlog footage so I thought I would go ahead and do that here today for you guys. The first thing that I have here is the Ambient Lighting Blush Palette and I believe that Sephora released this to VIB Rouges for first pur purchase only but I'm I'm pretty sure they're gonna release it to everybody because like that would just be cruel <laughs> um, soon but I think it currently says out of stock but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be bringing it back for everybody but um, this has got three of the Ambient Lighting blushes. Um, I did a video on the six that are in the permanent collection if you're interested in that I'll link it down below but this particular palette has got one uh, exclusive shade to it which kind of like the um, the one that came out last year during the holidays but it's just the finishing powders which everybody wants the incandescent hourglass. <laughs> we want incandescent light in a, a big separate compact release it. <laughs> anyway, this one comes with incandescent Electra blush in the center there and I thought that it looked really similar to um, Dim Infusion but Dim Infusion is much much lighter than the incandescent Electra. It's more uh, much more pale peach than the incandescent Electra. I'll show you guys on my fingers here. So right there. There is the uh, Dim Infusion and there is the incandescent Electra right there. So you can see that the um, incandescent Electra is much more corally pink, while the other one is much more of a light peach shade. And then the other two shades that it comes with is um, Mood Exposure, and then uh, Luminous Flush right here, and then here is the incandescent Electra. So might as well swatch them all here. And as far as performance of the blushes, they're just a really uh, easy blush to work with. They like really kind of melt into the skin. Depending on your skin tone, some of these can be uh, kind of light. Um, like, uh, what's that? The Ethereal blush and then that di uh, Dim Infusion blush. Those are some pretty, pretty light uh, blushes. So, And then too, a couple people have said on my Instagram when I posted a picture of this that their particular palette was lacking in the the veining for color so they were getting more of that um, hourglass powder the all-over finishing type powder than they were the actual color in the blush so that is something to make note of um, mine has got pretty decent veining I think mood exposure is the one that has probably got the least amount of color veining in it but these two came uh, pretty pigmented but I do want you guys to know that so and it's the same exact size as the holiday palette that came out last year with their hourglass ambient lighting powder trio so and then the next thing I have here is one of the uh, five color couture ready to wear palettes from YSL that um, it's part of their fall holiday collection I believe but the packaging is just really pretty and I kind of have a thing <laughs> for YSL's um, pretty packaging like this it kind of has a faux leather feel to it like that and then you got the um, what is it cheetah type print in there but it's called the couture palette wild edition and from what I've heard this is the same as the number two palette in the permanent line um, I don't have the number two one so I can't officially confirm that but I'm pretty sure it is I have two two other palettes like this from YSL and I quite like them they're a little bit of a different formula but they they blend really nice they build nicely and the um, I, they have a good pigmentation to them so this one is the wild edition right here the only thing that I wish is that the highlighter shade in I think I think all three of the palettes that I have I wish it was in a bigger a bigger slot because you tend to use um, more of that shade I think but let's watch these This one here is kind of hard to see, but and from what I've seen on blogs, there is another palette as well with a little bit different cover on it and some different colors in it. I haven't seen it anywhere online though just yet <laughs> and then I picked up two of the NARS audacious lipsticks there are a total of 40 lipsticks in this line but 10 of the shades um, they were all on the NARS website when NARS first released them on their website and I held off because I wanted to you know get them at like Nordstrom's or somewhere that I could get some 
perks of some sort, whether it's Ebates or Rebates or um, like rewards or, or something like that. So I held off and now NARS doesn't have um, those 10 available there. And so I've been hearing that those 10 are exclusive to Barney's, but Barney's only has a selection of them eat them as well. But the shade I'm, I'm looking for <laughs> is Dominique, which I want it so bad. It's like a purple shade. Anyway, can't find it on the World Wide Web anywhere, but I did pick up two shades in Anna and Anita, and the formulation of the lipstick is, it's everything everybody's raving about. It's its amazing lipstick. Uh, Opacity is great. They feel great on the lips and everything like that. But So this first shade is Anna, and it does have the NARS embossing in there, which I think is a nice touch. And then the packaging is magnetic, so the lid magnetizes onto it. But that one is Anna. And then the other one is Anita right there. Uh, the way that they looked on the website, um, they look a little bit different in person than I thought that they would be, but so here is Anna and here is Anita and they look kind of similar. This one has more purple to it, but they're showing up very true in the viewfinder, but they are some, some really gorgeous lipsticks, but I thought the shades were going to be a little bit, I don't know, brighter or something. And then I also picked up two of their new velvet lip liners, which I was really excited <laughs> about these as well. And I have worn both of these lip liners and they're really nice. They wear off nicely as well. Like the Makeup Forever ones, uh, the Urban Decay ones, some of the Chanel ones, not all of them are like that, but they'll wear off when like your lips, the rest of your lip product wears off. They'll leave a ring of kind of goop around your lips. Uh, these ones have not done that. So I'm really, really happy about that. But so the first shade here I got is called El Agua, and I was so excited about this particular color. I'm really big on my Clinique Sky Violet lip liner, which is on my lips right now. It's a borderline uh, pink purple that goes with pinky purple lipsticks. <laughs> um, but I, al I was always looking for one that pulled a tiny bit more purple, and this is it. <laughs> it's a really, really awesome shade of lip liner. Again, it's called El Agua, E-L-A-G-U-A. -A. So I'll swatch it here. The color is beautiful. That is it right there. Right over here. And it, see, it's got like more more of a purple mauve to it than um, my Clinique Sky Violet, which pulls just a tiny bit more pink. So I, I love that. And the other color here is, uh, this one is Patong Beach, and it is a nude shade that will go actually the ones that I got, these lip liners will look like they'll go great with Anna and Anita lipsticks. <laughs> so that is, this one right here is Patong Beach, right there. So there's a little bit of makeup haulage uh, for you guys. Now if you're interested in watching some vloggage of random ranchy farm stuff, you can just hang tight and we'll get into it right now. There's a horse on the wrong side of the fence again. <laughs> Same area as we had a fixed fence last time. So we are going to head up to the field, get the horse in, and fix the fence. What? She said I have to get her candy first. Candy located. Thank you. <laughs> Mower William. That's my BF. Got the oats in case we can't catch the horse, but then we can catch her with oats. Got the wire plier, wire stretcher. Got some wire? Yeah, I grabbed a few pieces. Okay. We just got her in. She was over here. She was over there on the other side, so I had to get the gate. Let her in. Now she's taking off all her friends. Now we gotta go find where the fence is down. Probably somewhere over there. Off to find the hole in the fence. Where she got through.
At least it's only a little bit, little bit, and not the whole doggone thing in it. Can you zoom in with this one? No. Or if you, I don't think so. If you can, I don't know how I do. Is that a cop? Yep. Right down there? Guess what? The second it, wire is broke. Is right it? there. Mm hmm. Wow. There you fix it and I'll just sit here. You fix it and I'll just sit here. Yeah, I know. I was going to say you're going to like you like to vlog while I do all the work. <laughs> I don't know how you Got it all figured out. I should vlog you. You want it. Yep, that's good. Look out for that bear coming right there. <laughs> Jackson, what are you doing up here? You're not supposed to be up here. My mom said she found a nice rock. She's probably going to send my brother up here to get it for her yard. <laughs> we just found we just dug in this hole because there was something sharp sticking out there and so I said we better pull it out because we don't need no horses stepping on it. And here, this is what we found, look. Right here. It looks like a propeller <laughs> to something. <laughs> what? Here, my mom wants me to come over here and see what a nice rock she found. Jixer's not supposed to be up here, but oh well, I guess. Hey, yeah, that's a good one, huh? Look how pretty it is. Pink and gray. Yep. Good yard ornament. Now all I gotta do is find someone to get it and bring it down to the yard. That's somewhere. a good looking rock right there. This is the North Dakota flower, no? Right? North Dakota State flower. North Dakota State flower. Right here. They just grow, they just grow wild. See, there's a whole bunch of them. Flowers. 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 Look right at, she found another cool rock. It. It's a zebra rock. That's a good one too, huh? Mm-hmm. It's a good looking rock. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so 
So somebody stopped then? They well, stopped? I heard him like beat clear over there. Yeah. And then you could hear him hauling ass all the way over here. I know, where did they finally stop? Right at the oh, These guys are talking about the was. cop car. Oh, it's not every day we see a cop chase around this joint. <laughs> the highway is way up there. Hey, look at this little green bug. Hope they got a drug bust. Look at this cute. See him? Little green one. Cruiser, get your rear back on that driveway, off that driveway, boy. You know better than that. Get squished. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> See, there's a storm up there. I'm gonna go for a ride. I don't know what horse I'm gonna ride yet, but you guys want to see what I've been carrying in my pocket lately? It is the Bite Beauty BB for Lips in the shade Flush, cause it has SPF 15 and it's it's pretty moisturizing, but it tastes sweet, so it um encourages lip licking, <laughs> which might not be such a good thing, but I've been liking it. I use quite a bit of it already. See? How do I there? Let's go like that. Yeah. Alrighty then. You better get back on that more. <laughs> she was supposed to already have her horse saddled up, but she's slow. She was up at the house. <laughs> See here. Which one of these boys wants to go for a ride? Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo. <laughs> gonna go for a ride. I decided to ride ticket today. Actually, I should be riding all three in one day, but I've been slacking. <laughs> Freddy. Ticket. These guys, this grass is so tall, all they can think about is eating. Eating and eating and eating. Come on, ticket. Heading home now. here he likes to leg behind he's really lazy and then my other horse he's a speed demon it's kind of funny night and day it does kind of smell like that doesn't it like somebody's burning sage or something strange strange get on the yellow brick road there boy this ain't no trail ride son Oh, the horses left, huh? Yep. Could have put them on the vid. That's where the mares and colts are in that pasture over there. <laughs> Let them have some grass. Now. There's War Pony mad again. Because he's not eating grass. <laughs> He's so out of shape, I'll show you guys. Look at his belly. <laughs> Here, we'll give you some grass, poor doggy. Spider. 
The last little vlog I showed you guys was kind of in the beginning of May. Today is June 22nd. So, see how slipped off he is? My baby ticket. He's wearing War Pony's halter. Oh well. Freddy? Freddy's looking good for an old man, aren't you, Freddy? Caught in the act. Snitching on grain. He blew it. He's going to get put away now.